Turn number 31. First player is Harvey. Now let's face the Biaki. We automatically fail the horror check and we do lose one sanity. Now plus zero, six, seven, ten, thirteen. We have thirteen dices and one success is required. Let us pull three dice. No success. Okay. One more. Yes, we do have at least one success. And Biaki becomes a new geek, a new monster trophy. Now for the Harvey. Harvey will use all of his movement points to get to the Miskatonic University streets. Both of them will receive a clue if they pass the lore check. First to pass it's Harvey. 6 plus 1 minus 1, that's 6 dice. He passes now for the mark. Mark do not pass. Mark does not get a clue token. Now what we would do? I forgot uh, for the straights two turns that Mark should receive his money. Now uh, because they are in the same area, Harvey will give all of his money to the Mark. So Mark will have now twenty-two dollars. That is the biggest amount of money that I have seen in this game. In this game where I participate in the game. And in any other gameplays on YouTube. Never seen a <laughs> investigators to have twenty-two dollars. And now, 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 now. Uh, okay. The healing stone will be given to Mark in order for him to restore his sanity. And, 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 and uh, we'll go to the mythos phase. Okay, woods, no portal, that's great. Again, no clue, because clue would appear at historical society. And pluses and moons. We do not have any pluses and moons for a moment. Let us read the text. An old basement is open, releasing two monsters in the east town streets. For a moment we do have one, two, three, four monsters. So only one monster would appear in the east town streets. East town streets are here. One monster to the east town and one to the the East Town monster it's Shogod and the gag goes to the outskirts. And that's all for turn number 31.